Dr. Christopher West here, the Theology of the Body Guy. In this video, we're going to be looking at the fact that your body and my body is more than just skin and bones. Your body and my body is a sign, a sacrament of a great mystery. John Paul II, in his marvelous, glorious Theology of the Body, says that our bodies are not only biological, they are theological. Your body and my body is a sign of a great spiritual and divine mystery. What we're talking about here is what he calls the sacramentality of the body. Sacramentality, what does that even mean? Very simply, it means the making visible of the invisible. You cannot see the human soul. What do you see? You see the body. And John Paul II says the body is the sacrament of the human spirit. It makes visible that invisible mystery. But there's even more. Because you and I are made in the image and likeness of God, our bodies if we have eyes to see, big if, but if we have eyes to see, our bodies reveal, make visible something of the invisible, eternal mystery of God himself. It's an amazing principle of Catholic theology. You could put it this way. God speaks to us in sign language. What do we mean? We've all had the experience of seeing a starlit night and being in awe of the beauty at the origin of the universe. We've all had the experience of a gorgeous sunset or a delicate little flower where our hearts are awakened to the mystery behind it all. That, whether we know it or not, is God speaking to us in sign language. But there is a sign more beautiful, more stunning than a starlit night, more amazing than a rainbow in the sky or a flower or a sunset. It's the human body. We are the crown of creation. We, in and through our bodies, more specifically, in and through our masculinity and femininity, we are a sign of a divine, glorious mystery. We cannot see God. God is pure spirit. And yet, St. John tells us that it is that which he has seen with his eyes. It is that which he has touched with his hands that he wants to proclaim to us. The very word, the very meaning of life. How has he seen it with his eyes? How has he touched it with his hands? Because that word that ultimate meaning took on flesh. The Catechism of the Catholic Church puts it this way. In the body of Jesus, we see our God made visible, and so we are caught up in love of the God we cannot see. That's Catechism 477. And then in Catechism 704, we read this. God impressed his own form on the flesh in such a way that even what was visible might bear the divine form. My brothers and sisters, here we have to recognize we are all the blind man in the gospel who has to cry out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. I want to see is this the way we see our bodies when you're standing naked there in the shower? Are you looking at yourself saying, Oh my gosh, my body reveals a great mystery. It's not the way we tend to think, not the way we tend to view our bodies. Why not? See, there's an enemy who's hell-bent on blinding us to the sacramentality of our bodies. Because if we discover the sacramentality of our bodies, we discover who we really are. We discover why we're really here. We discover where we come from and where we're headed and how to get there. 
we discover the ultimate mystery behind it all because that mystery has revealed itself in and through the human body. It's called Christmas. It's also called Christianity. It's also called the Incarnation. It's also called Theology of the Body, which is not just the title of a bunch of talks St. John Paul II gave us on marriage and sex. Theology of the Body is the very logic of Christianity. As St. Paul tells us, this is Colossians 2.9, for in Christ the whole fullness of the deity, the whole fullness of the mystery of God, dwells bodily. My brothers and sisters, we are called to have Christ dwell in us bodily. (laughs) And if the whole fullness of the deity dwells in Christ bodily, and Christ dwells bodily in us, then our bodies now contain and reveal the very mystery of God. How, How How are we supposed to contain Christ bodily in us? Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. (laughs) In Christianity, the body matters. Matter matters. We are not seeking to escape from this physical world to reach God. Because as you've heard me say in other videos, God is moving in the other direction. He's taken on a body to reach us. Let's look at some of these key statements from St. John Paul II's Theology of the Body, where he speaks about the body as a sacrament. He says this, Sacramentality of the body means that the body, in its masculinity and femininity, can be understood as a sign, a sign that fancy word, efficaciously transmits in the visible world. What do we mean efficaciously transmits? Really effectively. It's not just an empty symbol. There's something of the divine mystery in the body that's getting communicated by the body. This is what we mean by efficacious, right? The body is a sign that efficaciously transmits in the visible world the invisible mystery hidden in God from eternity. And this is the mystery of truth and love. Capital T, capital L, John Paul II uses. It is the mystery of divine life in which you and I are really called to participate. Hold on here. You and I are called to participate bodily in the eternal ecstasy of the divine life. And our bodies, if we see them rightly, our bodies are a sign that really and truly, efficaciously reveal who God is, who we are, why we're here, how we are to live, what our ultimate destiny is, and how to get there. Our bodies are a sign, a sacrament, that reveal the mystery hidden in God for eternity. I invite you to click the link to the video right here, where I will be unpacking even more deeply what this mystery hidden in God is, and how our bodies reveal that we're meant to participate in this ecstasy and divine life. (laughs) If we could only imagine the goodness, the dignity, the splendor, the awesomeness revealed through our bodies. Click here and we're gonna talk more about it. If this whet your appetite to learn more, I invite you to click the link below to learn more about the courses I teach for the Theology of the Body Institute and click the other link to learn about becoming a patron of the Theology of the Body Institute. Become part of a global community of patrons who are learning, living, and sharing this Theology of the Body. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to leave a comment, like it, share it with friends and family, and consider subscribing to the channel. Till next time.